Hey guys, LC Fever here, and welcome to this 91 rated Icon Sour play review. So I think I managed to get this card out of one of those Icon player picks in the nano packs that they release on the store. And of course, not only is she high rated, but she's also a new Icon to this year's uh, EAFC. So I thought I'd give her a try in my team and see how she plays. Anyway, as you can see on screen, this is the team I'll be starting her in. So Sour's 5 foot 5, she's got high attacking and high defensive work rates, she's right footed, and she has a 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot, with a mostly explosive acceleration type. She can play in centre mid in cam, and then quickly going over some of the key stats, she's got 88 acceleration, 91 attack positioning, with 92 finishing, 89 long shots, 91 vision, 94 short passing, 93 long passing, 86 curve, 88 agility, 91 reactions, 92 ball control, 91 dribbling, 93 composure. The defensive stats are relatively quite well rounded in the sort of low 80s to mid 80s, apart from slide tackle, which is only 68. I'll just put this on screen for a couple of seconds, so if you want to read through it, you can pause the video and have a read through. Then onto her play styles, and she's got incisive pass, she's got the long ball pass, I think this is the first touch yet, she's got the press proven. She's got uh, Relentless as a Playstyle Plus, and she's also got Quick Step. Okay, game number one. They've got Donnarumma, Gvardiol, Kimpembe, Rice, Lipmanen, Melito. So a relatively decent team overall. Right, then a terrible start. Okay, first interception from Sauer. That was a pretty terrible pass, though, so it was an easy one to make. But we start the counter up. We tap it in. Okay, we managed to score that. I thought I'd taken one too many touches with his keeper rushing out, but we make it 1-1. One, one. One, we'll play that through. Can you play that ball through? It's a great pass through to Kelly. I can see Madison, he's dropped off. Why is he dropped off there? Volley it, and it's 2-1. We do get a goal in the end, and it was Madison that scored. Should be closing that down. Diaz, wow. Wow. How has he scored that? Finesse it. Yeah, it's off target. Bit of a reach thinking that was going to go in. So I was picked it up. We hit it on the volley. It's a good save from Donnarumma. Finesse. Not enough shot power on it. Play that through. Play that through again. Oli. Oli. Finesse. It's another save from Donnarumma. Finesse it. Can we play that ball through? Ollie's in. Finesse. What is that? I can't score. Right, it's seriously we've been absolutely dominating him all game. Please, yes. De Bruyne on the finesse, it's wide. Yes, come on. 4-3. Please, tap that in. De Bruyne is 5-3. Surely that's game. I need to hold on to this. He's paused it. He's quit. Come on. That gets me into the weekend league. Right, game number two. And we've got Pope, Kim and Jay, Ruben Diaz, Raven Birch, Kante, Benzema. Come 
Come on, Kim Min Jae. How have you not blocked that? Shocking again. No, I can't do anything about it. Right, it's a pen. Okay, what's he got? A yellow? Yep. All right, we'll put Sour on it. Where is she? 85 pens. I'm going to put this top left. And she buries it. All right, 2-1. Sawish so cuts inside, we finesse it, and Pope saves. Madison, yes, we're through, and it's 2 2. Block that good interception. Chloe Kelly, she's missed it. She's missed it. Sour interception. Play that through. It's just readable, that. Too readable. Madison near post. He's at the post. Story of this game. Okay, then, into game number three. We've brought in Sam Kerr in the striker position, so I'm hoping she'll get us a few more goals. And another terrible start. Bit disappointing he's giving that one away. There was no momentum on him there. He just stood still. Sam Kerr. Straight back with another goal. It's 1-1. One, one. Sauer picks it up. Pings it out to Baltimore. Sam Kerr over the top. Can she hold off Kimpembe? She has done. She's taking a touch. It's a save from the keeper. Can she get there? No. Just a bit behind it. Putting a good challenge, though. Sour. She's picked it up. Shoo. It's a save from Donnarumma. And I think that was on a weak foot. What a finish from Madison, using the RB dribble, which weave into his box and put it in the bottom corner. And we bury it. Madison, using that uh, free, is it, what's it called, the playstyle plus he's got, a set-piece specialist, is it? Right into the top corner. Even moved his keeper to it as well. All right, he's paused it and he's quit. Right then into the fourth and probably final game. Baltimore, Sam Kerr's in the middle and it's in. Donnarumma tries to save it, but it's just too much with that power header play style plus and it goes past him. Sam Kerr, she's not winning that one. And we do beat him near post. Madison once again using that RB dribble. Oh no, he's dancing around me with Dina Tale and he hits it into the top right. Baltimore! And it's just wide. Oh no, Donnarumma got a hand to it. Up a Meccano when he does win this one and puts it past Donnarumma. Now. 
yeah, just couldn't move, couldn't move my defenders to closing down. Too many options for him in the box. Green timed it, and it does beat Donnarumma this time. She did well to hold off Kimbembe there, to be fair. She was under a lot of pressure, but we managed to make it 4-2. Don't allow him to turn you. No, what? No way. They need to take that out of the game. It's shocking that it can just bounce around off you like that. Sawa plays Kerr through. She's been caught by Van Dyke. And it's a red. Stands up well, makes interception. Good tackle from Sawa. Baltimore, can we flip that all the way over? Ford, she's got it. She's taking a heavy touch. It doesn't matter. It's in. 5-3. And he's paused it now. I wouldn't be surprised if they quit. And yeah, they've gone. So then, what are my final thoughts on this 91 rated Icon Sawa? We'll start off with the pace and at 84 in the midfield. That's pretty fast. But what makes this even better is the fact that she has 88 acceleration which means that in short bursts in the midfield, she just managed to get around the pitch pretty quickly. But it also makes it a little bit easier to try and cut off those passing lanes to intercept the ball. Next up is the shooting, and to be honest, I didn't really get too much of a chance to see this, purely because I was playing her in a more CDM role. So I'm sure if you did choose to play Sauer a bit higher up the pitch, even in more box-to-box centre mid, or even a cam, you'd probably see this a little bit more. However, her attack positioning was decent enough, but from what I did see, if you come up against goalkeepers with high reflexes, sometimes they're finishing, despite it being 92, she just couldn't beat the goalkeeper because of that uh, lower shot power stat. I didn't really take too many long shots, so although it's 89, which as a stat is pretty good, again, I'm not too sure how that shot power will affect that long shot stat. Again, it's the same sort of story for volleys. I didn't get too many chances to use this, but at 74, they aren't going to be as good as some of her other shooting stats. 81 penalties is decent, but not great. Her passing, I can't really have too many complaints about. It was pretty good for me. A 91 vision means that she can pick out players on the pitch without having to directly face them. And a short passing and long passing as a combination never disappointed me. She was by far one of the best playmakers on the pitch that I had. The crossing is pretty good as well, so if you do find yourself in a wide position, you can use that 86 crossing to whip the ball in. Likewise, the 86 curve will also help with these crosses in terms of the amount of whip you can get on the ball. This also improves the short passing and long passing ability and it allows you to bend the pass to avoid defensive players. And another thing it will do is also improve those finesse shots. Adding to this, she also has the incisive pass and long ball pass play styles, which will also improve her overall passing ability. Next up is dribbling, and again like the passing, it really doesn't disappoint. 88 agility and 82 balance as stats alone are pretty good. However, with her height as well at 5'5", five five, she is very agile and easy to manoeuvre both on and off the ball. Although the only negative I'd say about our balance is that combination with her strength. 91 reactions is one of those stats that allows her to react quickly to changes in ball direction on the pitch, so it is good to have a high reaction stat. She rarely took a bad touch of the ball when trying to intercept the ball, or just controlling a pass. Likewise with the dribbling, when it came to manoeuvring the ball in possession, she was easily one of the best players on the pitch for this. A 93 composure is important when it comes to taking touches whilst under pressure, passing the ball off whilst under pressure, and shooting. So at 93, you can be sure that if she is under pressure from the opponent, it won't impact her output too much. Now some people will be confused as to why I was using her in a more defensive role when she's got 83 defending, which is pretty good as a stat anyway, but a shooting is clearly a better stat than the defending is, at least statistically anyway. However, I have to say for me, she was a pretty solid CDM, and she reminded me a lot of Kante in that year, he's quite overpowered, I don't know if it was sort of FIFA 15, 16 maybe. But she did quite often break up my opponent's play and turn over possession back to me. I think when it comes to sort of jumping and heading, because of her height at 5'5", five five, she really didn't win any headers for me at all. An attitude stamina is perfect, especially when you consider the fact that she has, I think it is at the Relentless Playstyle Plus. So yeah, you don't have to worry about subbing her off and she still has energy right at the end of the game and going into extra time. And as I sort of touched on a little bit earlier, her strength and aggression is pretty poor. And I guess the final things to talk about are a four-star skill moves and a four-star weak foot. And for most people, it is the sort of minimum they expect to have on any sort of player on the field, especially in the midfield and attacking roles. 
four star skill moves does allow you to do some of the more advanced skill moves in the game. Likewise, the four star weak foot means you can pass the ball on a left and right and shoot on a left and right, and a weak foot shouldn't suffer from too much inaccuracy compared to a stronger right foot. So overall, I'm going to give this 91 Icon Sour a 9 out of 10. She's a very fun card to use and was solid at pretty much everything in the game. She's definitely fast enough. Her shooting is still decent, although the shot power does let it down a little bit. Passing and dribbling, can't have any complaints about it. It was great for me. And defensively, I would say that I think she outperformed that overall stat of 83. So yeah, I had a lot of fun using this card and I would recommend it if you can afford the card or if you do manage to get it on loan like me to give her a try in your team and see how she performs. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please have a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please have a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.